We begin here with the growing outrage over Sony pulling that movie. Some say giving in to North Korea. And tonight, the president acknowledging North Korea is behind it. All over the country, those billboards now covered up, posters taken down, the movie, the interview that poked fun at the North Korean dictator pulled. Tonight here, the new threat, what they want now. But first, the president and what he said about Sony pulling that movie. Did they give in to the hackers? Listen to this. I think they made a mistake. I wish uh, they'd spoken to me first. Imagine what they start doing when they see a documentary that they don't like or news reports that they don't like. Tonight, the North Korean hackers going even further. What they're demanding now. ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas. Today, the U.S. government pointed the finger of blame directly at North Korea for the devastating cyber attack against Sony Pictures. They caused a lot of damage. And we will respond. Uh, we will respond proportionally and we'll respond uh, in a place and time uh, and manner that we choose. The extraordinary response coming after FBI investigators pieced together a trail of clues, including IP addresses apparently linked to Pyongyang, lines of computer code used by North Korean hackers in the past, and striking similarities between this attack and a series of devastating cyber assaults targeting South Korean banks and cell phones last year. You two are going to be in a room alone with Kim. The unprecedented attack, all because the North Koreans were angry about a movie depicting the assassination of their leader. Take him out. Sony canceling the movie's Christmas release after the hackers threatened American moviegoers and theaters refused to show it. But Sony's president told CNN Today his company had no choice. We have not caved, we have not given in, we have persevered, and we have not backed down. But today the hackers took a victory lap, sending Sony a new message, praising the company's very wise decision to halt the movie showing, but threatening more mayhem if the film is ever released, distributed, or leaked in any form. The mastermind is likely part of a secretive North Korean spy unit called Bureau 121, tasked with developing an army of so-called cyber warriors, recruited as children, and trained for years at this military school. Today, one of Hollywood's leading men said irreparable damage has already been done. Actor George Clooney lashed out at his Hollywood colleagues. He said when he went to industry heavyweights last week, asking them to publicly support Sony, no one would. This is how scared this industry has been made, Clooney told Deadline.com. He added, we have allowed North Korea to dictate content. That is just insane. And Pierre's with us live in Washington. I understand we're hearing even more from Sony. They're going to try to get some version of this movie out there now. David, that's right. Sony just released a statement saying it's looking for other ways to allow people to see the film. Whether that will ever happen remains to be seen. Pierre, thank you. Let's get right to John Carl over at the White House. What's the president going to do about this, John? Will the U.S. take action against North Korea? The president was clear the U.S. will take action. The president said it will be a proportional response. It's unclear exactly what that means, but his national security team is developing a range of options, ranging uh, from new sanctions on North Korea to some kind of a cyber counterattack. White House officials will not say what the president is going to do, but David, the president was asked directly today if he would consider a military response. He did not rule it out. Although I've got to tell you, officials here say that is highly unlikely. All right, John Carl and Pierre Thomas tonight. Thanks to you.